Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the choice to become your most expansive self. And this is what we're really doing when we're manifesting and we're, when we're manifesting big outcomes in our life. We are choosing to step into a self-concept or a knowing of ourself that is incredibly abundant in all ways, incredibly expansive, can create anything you want, really stepping into your infinite nature. This is where manifesting is incredibly fun and really the realm of being able to create anything you want. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Before I do, I am launching my course called Embodied Millionaire. And it, I launched it a couple days ago. I haven't been able to make a video yet. So I'm going to extend the early bird price one more day. So today only, it's the last day for you to get into Embodied Millionaire at the early bird price. And this topic of stepping into your most expansive self is something we are going to dive deeply into in Embodied Millionaire. So this is a five-week course. There's tons of content, five live calls with me, five workbooks, five weeks of modules, lessons. And we're going to talk about how to literally step into and embody, become your millionaire self your incredibly abundant, wealthy, overflowing self. Because as you know, who you become is what you manifest. That's all manifesting is. You're becoming internally by practicing new thoughts and practicing your feeling states and practicing a new storyline that you're telling yourself. You're becoming the new you. And just by becoming the new you, you automatically manifest anything you want. So in this course, we're going big because becoming a millionaire is big. We're going really big. And that's the point. We're stepping into incredibly expansive states and knowing, knowingness of ourselves and stories. So if this appeals to you, if you're really too ready to take your money game to the next level, and it's definitely a course about money, but it's also about so much more. It's about like stepping into your most successful, expansive, abundant self ever. If you're ready to do that, you can sign up with the link below. And again, I'm just going to extend the early bird one more day. So today only. So check it out there. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about choosing to become your most expansive self. What does this mean? This is really the realm of all possibilities are open to you. It's so much bigger than kind of thoughts, really. Thoughts of um, I am this or I am not. It, it really is about embodying a feeling state of all possibilities are available to me. I am that incredible. I am that big. I am that abundant. It's these expansive states. And if you can learn to take yourself into these incredibly expansive states, what you're going to find is you're going to start manifesting incredibly big results in your life. It's much bigger than kind of controlling the little details here and there. We want to manifest the big love. We want to manifest the big abundance, big amounts of money. We want to manifest the lifestyle that is big and, uh, and expansive and juicy and incredible. And the way we do that is by cultivating these inner states of abundance, of love, of overflowingness, of I have plenty, plenty comes to me. You can even hear it when I'm speaking about it right now because I'm transmitting that state, okay? So when we're manifesting, we are focusing, of course, on the way we're thinking about ourselves, the storyline, all of that. But there also is a larger way to manifest these larger states that is a little more general. And it's just about noticing how expansive do I want to be? How abundant do I want to feel? And not in a where we're going to answer that question with our mind. We're literally learning to tune into the feeling state of absolute abundance. So a way you can get there is what if you thought about what if I had all the money 
possible, I could possibly ever want to spend? What if I could just spend money as much as I want? What would that feel like internally? So you're taking yourself into a little bit of an imaginal act here, but you're going to notice it feels like Oh my gosh, it's so abundant. So really go there with me right now. Close your eyes and feel into you have all the money just for today even. What if you had all the money you could possibly spend? It was never ending. You had a never ending resource of money and you could just spend it and buy whatever you want and buy plane tickets and buy anything you want. What feeling state does that evoke in you? It probably evokes a feeling state of extreme abundance. And when we're manifesting, we have to choose to take ourselves into these expansive states. That's what we're doing. I think some people can get caught in playing a little bit of a small game when it comes to manifesting and really just getting caught in the realm of thought and like trying to control our thoughts, trying to control our thoughts. Your thoughts serve a purpose of evoking a feeling state in you. And if the thought isn't evoking that feeling state, I don't think it's doing too much for you. So we want to use our thoughts to evoke these really abundant, expansive feeling states. I'll do another one with you that has to do with love. Close your eyes with me and imagine that you are just being showered with gifts right now from everyone. Your friends are texting you and telling you how much they love you. Your family is texting you and telling you they are grateful for you. The love of your life is texting you and saying, I love you. You are the most amazing person in the world. What state, feeling state does that evoke in you? It should evoke a feeling state. If you're really allowing yourself to go there in your imagination, it should evoke a feeling state of like, I'm loved. I'm overflowing with love. Love is pouring in. I feel completely abundant in love. That's the feeling state. If you want to manifest these really expansive states in your reality, that's the feeling state you're going to be practicing. And our work as manifestors is to choose to go there. Choose to go there over and over and over again. I read this quote. It didn't say who the quote was by, um, but I read it and I also included it in my Embodied Millionaire course. And the quote said something like, you have to want your dreams more than you want your drama. You have to want your dreams more than you want your drama. That's what this is all about. Our work as conscious manifestors is to choose our dreams, to choose who we want to become, to choose who we are being in the world, how we are thinking about ourselves, how we are feeling about ourselves. And yes, it is a practice. I'm not saying it's the easiest thing in the world to do. It does get easier with practice, but that's your work is to say, this is who I'm becoming. I'm becoming this super expansive self. I'm becoming the embodied millionaire. I'm becoming someone who's fully loved and taken care of in my relationship. That is who I'm choosing to be. And you have to choose it over and over and over again. But when you choose it over and over again, guess what? You become that person. And when you become that person, then the automatic thing to have happen is your reality will say, yes, you are a millionaire. Yes, you are fully loved. Yes, you are completely wanted, right? So your work is to choose who you want to be. Use your thoughts to get into those really expansive feeling states. Practice them over and over again, and you will create an absolutely mind-blowing reality. Thank you for being here with me. If you want to sign up for Embodied Millionaire, the link is directly below. It's going to be an amazing time. It's going to be a super expansive course. I'm really excited to take this group of people through this, this process and through all of this material. So I can't wait to see you in there and I'll see you soon. Bye.